Unemployment continues to rise in Arizona as the coronavirus keeps the local economy in limbo. Here are the latest numbers released within the past hour. In a week that ended last Friday, nearly $151 million in unemployment compensation was distributed in Arizona. There were just over 72,000 new claims filed, with more than 226,000 others here in Arizona receiving benefits. Still, as Team 12's Josh Sanders shows us, there are plenty of Arizonans still trying to get their first unemployment checks. Josh? Those unemployment claims have skyrocketed, and while DES has paid out on hundreds of thousands of those claims, it's self-employed workers that are still being denied. One of those workers telling me today it's a slap in the face. Arizona's Department of Economic Security continues to see a rise in first-time unemployment claims as the coronavirus is keeping doors closed for many small businesses across the valley. A lot of businesses have been forced to either furlough or let go a lot of their staff so that they can go on unemployment. One of those people is Andrew Boyd. Once school shut down in the state of Arizona, um, that's the moment that unemployment started for me. The professional golfer manages after-school programs in three states, including Arizona, teaching more than 1,500 kids the sport he loves. He applied for unemployment at the end of March, but his status has shown monetarily ineligible since the beginning of April. Um, every morning you call and it takes you through an automated thing here in the state of Arizona and um, it says once you go through it all, it'll say if the queue is full, try back again later. Self-employed workers like Andrew are covered under the recently passed CARES Act, but as of last week, Arizona DES says their system hasn't been able to process those claims and, quote, they are making significant changes to process benefit calculations and eligible determinations. Well, I think sole proprietors in our state, uh, as well as uh, what I call ultra small businesses, kind of the one to three employees are, are getting hit the hardest uh, with this COVID level impact. Chris Camacho from the Greater Phoenix Economic Council says workers like Andrew are dealing with the Paycheck Protection Program's lack of understanding of the self-employed worker. He says it's focused more on small businesses with larger payrolls. He says the weeks to follow will be telling for unemployment throughout the state, and it will come down to when the state decides to to reopen for business. Until then, numbers will rise. And that leaves people like Andrew still waiting for answers from the DES. If there was an update on a weekly basis on the webpage, that would be something. Now, Chris Camacho tells me he hopes that the second round of PPP will go to those small businesses and self-employed workers. He says for the unemployment numbers, though, time will tell. For now, in downtown Phoenix, Josh Sanders, 12 News.